Hey guys, welcome back to Flashlight Crazy. Today I'm reviewing the Ace Beam Poke Light, AA EDC flashlight. Check this one out guys, it's a beauty. All right, so in the box, you will get the light included with a rechargeable, rechargeable 920 milliamp 3.7 volt 14500 battery and you will also get a USB-C charger to charge up this guy there will be a little LED light around here somewhere when you charge it it'll go red and once it's fully charged it'll go green okay so have a look down there I believe there's a spring down there very happy with that Chuck it in, that's the light head. So this one opens up at the light head, not the tail. Screw it back on. Now this could definitely be a challenger to the i5T, I believe it is, or i5R from Olight. This is a really, really cool light. Um, the only thing that uh, I would say is the tail cap is a little bit stiffer than the one, than Olight's. But apart from that, this is really cool light. This has three stages of uh, lumens. The Olight only has two. Uh, so I might do a comparison video with them one day. Um, but before that, let's stick with this and have a look at the Ace Beam Poke Light. So obviously I got mine in the green. It says Poke Light there, serial number. Nice style. I like how it kind of is fat at the end here, slims down in the body and then opens back up at the head. Really cool. Beautiful LED down there. Two-way pocket clip. Very, very handy to have a two-way pocket clip. Now the size of this one, just give you a bit of a comparison to the battery. So that's how big it is. So it's not even the size of two batteries. Two batteries would be just a bit bigger to AA batteries or 14500s. So that's pretty cool. Very usable EDC light. Very, very uh, bright, especially on high. And you'll see that in the, in the night shots. Tail clicky. Stiff but responsive. In fact, I'll just give you a bit of a, that's on high, that's on low. Medium, high, low. Okay, so let's do the weight, let's do the size. Okay, so the weight inclusive of the battery is 54 grams, 55 let's say, almost 55. So that's pretty cool. That is definitely a good weight for a light like this. And let's go the measurements. Okay, so from head to tail without the, the rubber clicky, you've got 8.9 centimeters, but with the rubber clicky, you've got 9.4 centimeters. So it's five millimeters longer with the tail cap, okay? With the rubber clicky. The face, we've got here 1.7 centimeters. The tail clicky, rubber clicky is just under a centimeter, 0.9 of a centimeter. And then the actual tail cap itself I'm going to go 1.6 or 7 centimetres. And then the body, the body is 1.5 to 1.6 as well, about 1.5. So it's a little, just a tiny bit less that just kind of dips down. And then the head opens up again at about, yeah, 1.9 or 8 centimetres. So it's really... A really well-made light, very sturdy. Ace Beam are great, man. They they make such strong, you know, worthwhile lights. Um, that pocket clip is just so strong. It's not going anywhere 
when you put it on. And when you do put it in your pocket, you definitely feel how it kind of like catches on to this little indent bit there. Uh, but I actually like that because it means the, the light's not going anywhere when it's in your pocket. Seriously, it's not going anywhere. It is a really, really uh, cool light. So the UI on this is very simple. You can momentary it and cycle, low, medium, high, or you can fully click. It does have mode memory as well. So let's go, that was on high, I think. Low, so low is half a lumen, okay? Half a lumen there. Then if I cycle up one once more, that gets you to medium, that's 80 lumens. And if I cycle up again, that gets you to 230 lumens. And it will cycle down as well. It'll cycle all the way down to off, but uh, it'll take over an hour to do that from high. So you've got a long time to, to play with a really decent output. But the best thing for outside, I think, is medium. There is a bit of a difference, a bit of a noticeable difference between medium and high. But if you want to use this light uh, the most efficiently for, for the longest time, then use it in medium, uh, unless you've got spare batteries to, to take. And look, it takes AA batteries, so it shouldn't be difficult to get spare batteries, really shouldn't. Uh, I love this light. I love it so much. I actually bought this one instead of the Olight i5R. I just wanted to kind of compare it. Uh, I didn't want to just jump on board with the Olights. I wanted something else. Um, now here is my Olight i3T, okay? And here is the size. They are almost identical. The, the Ace Beam protrudes a little bit and the and it is a little bit bigger to to be able to sustain the double A instead of the triple A in this, but it's amazing how much how similar the size is, and yet this is so much more powerful and will will run longer. So I'm very happy with my purchase of the Ace Beam Poke Light. I love it in green as well. I think it's just, it just looks so cool. Um, and so let's shoot off outside, do some, do some beam shots and we'll come back and have some final thoughts. All right. See you in a sec. Okay. Out here with the ACE beam poke light. Now that is high, straight onto high. Very, very usable. The reason that came onto high is because of mode memory. So if I click off, click on, we got low. Very usable as well. Check out my shoes, laces done up. Yep, we're happy. Let's go medium and boom. Look at all the spill you get just from going from low to medium. How cool is that, man? Nice hot spot, good spill, and then high. High really makes a difference with the spill area. It really, really accentuates that spill area. Let's try that again. So we got low, medium, Fair bit of spill, but nothing crazy. And then high really, really opens up that spill area. That's cool. Check the path out. I mean, geez, something this big, palm size, less than palm size. And that's on high, not getting very hot. Rechargeable battery, tiny torch, reversible pocket clip, put it on your hat, go for a walk. I mean, tell me you need something more. You can't, because you don't. Well, unless you want a thrower or something like that, but for just, you know, average purposes, this is, this is all you need. What a light. Thank you, Ace Beam. All right, final thoughts. I reckon I know what I'll be saying in them. See ya. What did I tell you? I do not lie. The, this thing is incredible. Um, this thing really, really does, does its, its job uh, outside. You know, medium and high, especially whilst you're going for a walk, are just so usable, so awesome. 
beam pattern there again, just for you to see, and then I'll give you a high. It's just so usable. So pick this guy up from lightshop.com.au. I will put a link in the description. I have actually put links in all of my descriptions now of all my reviews straight to Lightshop and straight to the actual product. So check out the links and uh, and go grab grab yourself a light. As I've said before, guys, Adam from Lightshop is awesome. Everyone down there at Lightshop are really, really helpful. Send them an email, give them a call, whatever you want. They're just such an awesome company and so great to have such an awesome, efficient company selling bloody good lights at bloody good prices right here in Australia. I'm in Victoria, they're up in New South Wales, and my orders come within the week every time, unless I order on a Friday, obviously, uh, or a Thursday. So apart from that, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, as well. Like it, subscribe it, check it out, and uh, you'll be getting more videos, comparison videos, and I'm gonna uh, soon do a video of uh, what I think the best light collection should include, all right? Until then, stay cool and uh, stay safe. And I will see you next time on Flashlight Crazy. Ciao.